It's not foreign entities that are taking away our Fourth Amendment rights and taking away our privacy. The foreigners aren't making us pass the Patriot Act. We're doing it to ourselves. So I would say that when the Republic returns, when you know we're making progress, we will repeal the Patriot Act. And guess what that would do? That would remove the authority for the TSA to poke and prod us at the airports. <laughs> but the president has announced uh, a year ago and, and announced again this week uh, but that, that he has the authority to assassinate American citizens. Now, you have, you have to think about this. So where does he get the authority? And he was asked about this. He said, well, it's part of the Constitution. <laughs> now, his understanding, his explanation about the Constitution is that anything that is not prohibited, he's allowed to do. <laughs> but, you know, he has it sort of upside down. He is only allowed to do the things that he is explicitly authorized to do. The rest he's not allowed to do. But on three occasions, he's already used that power and authority to assassinate American citizens. And people say, well, that's oh, he's only done it a couple times, and he was probably a bad guy. But you know, it's the principle, obviously, of what counts, because we all want to be treated the same way in courts and not uh, designated by, by the president or whomever. But, but Alaki was assassinated, and uh, he was associated with the wrong people, but he was never charged with anything. He was never given a trial. He never had an attorney, but he was a bad guy, and they were going to do it, and they, and they killed him. So they said to a family member who was also an accomplice, so they had to go get him. So a week later, they bombed and, and killed his son. His son was 16 years old, out in the backyard barbecuing. Now, that is not American justice. That's America barking on something that is very, very dangerous. But the Congress hasn't been too much help lately, and the President certainly didn't resist this, but the Congress passed a bill, passed again on January 1st of this year, and, and that bill was the National Defense Authorization Act. And of course, what this does is it repeals posse comitatus, and it says explicitly that now the uh, uh, federal, the U.S. military, the Army, can arrest any American citizen. Put in a prison, put in a prison and denied, and, and denied an attorney, no charges made, no trial, in a secret prison indefinitely because you are a risk to the state. You know, I've been called, I've been called dangerous at times, dangerous to the establishment. So, so I tell you, all of us better win this fight or we are in a big trouble, you know, we have to win this. 